Welcome. As mentioned, we will be mastering QTP and all the basics and advanced level concepts of HP Quick Test Professional. So, we will start from the very basic, and then we will be mastering and becoming experts in HP Quick Test Professional. We will also do some scripting. What exactly is QTP? HP Quick Test Professional is an automation testing tool, so we can basically perform automation testing. All the manual testing that we can perform with our hands, all the manual testing that we do, we can automate the process using different automation tools, and HP QTP is one of them. Quick Test Professional is one of the most popular automation testing tools on the market right now. There are several other popular tools, such as Selenium. Selenium is an open source tool. Quick Test Professional is not an open source. Then we also have some IBM tools, such as IBM Rational Functional Tester and a few others, and we have some performance testing tools also, such as HP Load Runner and also JMeter. JMeter is an open source tool, so QTP is strictly a functional testing tool. You cannot really do any performance testing with Quick Test Professional because again QTP is a functional testing tool. So before we talk about QTP and start looking at the QTP interface, let's try to understand more exactly what automation is. So automation is all about automating the testing process. If you get hired as an automation tester for a company, you have to automate the testing process that they currently perform manually. You will be basically creating automation testing scripts and QTP is one of those tools that you can use for the automation. So how do we perform automation testing? Before we talk about automation testing, let's try to understand what is testing. As a tester, what exactly do you have to do? A software tester, a QA tester, or QA automation tester, what exactly do you have to perform as a tester? Let's, let's begin with a quick overview of what it is to be a tester and testing. What exactly are you testing and what is your responsibility as a tester? Let me open up one of the browsers. We'll go with Internet Explorer. This is IE7 or IE8, as you can see. And from my browser, let's navigate to Facebook.com. So that's Facebook.com which I'm, I'm sure you are all familiar with the interface of Facebook, especially if you are 40 plus. According to the statistics, over 40% of Facebook users are actually 40 plus. So if you are over 40, there's a better chance that you are more likely to use Facebook every day. Um, also, 25% uh, of Facebook users, quote, 25% of Facebook users check their Facebook accounts five times a day. That's right, five times a day. So if you're one of those 25% people, and if you are like me, then you are already pretty familiar with the Facebook interface and the user interface. So let's assume that you got hired as a tester for Facebook. If you get a job on Facebook as a tester, and that's probably one of the dream jobs for most of us, 
as a tester, you basically have to test the functionality of their application or website. So as a tester, let's say you are responsible for testing this login functionality of Facebook. You basically have to put values in the email box and the password field and then click on login and check for the error message if you put in an invalid login ID and password. Let me go ahead and put in an invalid value in the email field. How about uh, hi at yahoo.com and some invalid password. And don't worry, I won't show the password. Um, I'll, I'll show it to you, but I won't read it to you because uh, it's a password and that is sacred. And I click on login and I can see this error message. There we go. It says that this account not confirmed. It is now verified that I provided invalid credentials on Facebook login. So as a tester, this is your responsibility. You are testing the features, the functionalities, user interface, back end, front end. Um, these are all part of your responsibility. What I just performed manually with my own hands, I can automate this process. I can save some time and money for my company and um, some afford by automating this process. In order to automate this manual task, I can use some tools. Some automation tools, uh, including HP QTP. Quick Test Professional is one of those automation tools. It's probably one of the most useful. Let's close this browser and let's open up Quick Test Professional. I have the 11.0 version here. This is trial license and for your convenience I will also show you how to install the 30-day trial version on your machine so you can play with that. And Throughout these videos we will be more than capable of getting into our QTP job and a position where you have to do a lot of QTP and automation scripting. By the end of this, we will be experts on using Quick Test Professional and automating the testing process. But as you can see, QTP 11.0 is opening up. It takes a little bit, um, maybe 30 to 40 seconds. There we go. This is the QTP interface. Again, this is 11.0, QTP 11.0, and there is now a newer version, 11.5, out there. And we will go over the new features of 11.5 later on and some of the differences. Uh, again, this is 11.0. This is the user interface of QTP, so in the next video, we'll start getting an overview of all these features that we see on the screen. We'll also start creating some automation scripts using QTP, some basic scripts, and then some advanced QTP VB scripting, descriptic programming, and more. In the next video, we'll start playing around and working with HP Quick Test Pro. Thank you.